We actually have generator for you today, Drytron, and is that stun on the run back? Yes, it is. All right, to the 30% of you that have not smashed the 11 crap out of that subscribe button, make sure you guys smash it so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. So the first deck we're going to be looking at here is a generator list. Now, I have not seen a lot of generator really showcasing out here, but when we actually kind of get to see this deck actually function, it's actually relatively nice. And of course, you know, the new support definitely made this deck a lot stronger, you know, being able to go into Leviathan to be able to shift into Jormungandar here. And of course, we are sporting off a little bit bit of a package in the plant department here because we are playing the sunseed stuff so technically this is a what sunseed loki generator deck so we have your triple copies of ash blossom and joy spring one ecclesia with one floor de lease we have triple copies of ghost ogre gonna get a lot of mileage on this we have one copy of Har, we have triple copies of Lopdor, two copies of Mardel, we have one copy of the Hog, one copy of the Utan Garda, and then we have triple copies of Vala, and then triple copies of the Sunseed Loki, because this will just effectively turn into an entire engine in itself. And then we have triple copies of Book of Eclipse, so you can counter Kashtir, one Call by the Grave, your one Boss Quest, triple copies of Boss Stage, you have the triple copies of the Servant, and then one Sunvine Sewing, your triple talents, your triple die with one punishment, your one boss fight, and triple copies of infinite permanents. And then down the extra, you have the one Sunvine Healer, one Melias with one Dryas, we have one Begalancer with one copy of Jasmine, we have one Hyperton with one Interblafnir, one copy of the Aggregator, and then we have two copies of Leviathan, two copies of Jormungandar, one Titanic Clad, one Garuda, and then one copy of Anintis here, wrapping up this list. They did not show the side deck in the video, which is kind of a shame, but you'll have a little bit of an idea here as to what you're going to do with this, how you need to side. I mean, you're just going to side in things that will allow this deck the chance to better play against some of those kind of rotten matchups, honestly. So good stuff. Next up here is the power of Drytron. And I will tell you this, you know, now that we've seen buy steals kind of take a back seat here in the format, more and more players are going to kind of start looking at this deck and go, hmm, you know, maybe maybe we should start playing this. Well, because you also get access to the Botto Buster here, which gives you a spell and trap negate here, which is actually pretty relevant at the end of the day. Um, I also see that we are taking out some Book of Eclipses here, so you can kind of round out your your cash tier matchup once again unfortunately some of these matchups are issues i also see that we are playing the herald of perfection here so as long as your opponent doesn't know what you're doing you know you can deploy this set up your protects and you're essentially off to the races so we have one lancia to protect we have one copy of herald triple copies of Al or yeah alpha thuban two copies of delta altias with triple copies of altanum we also have triple copies of albaya we have one copy of herald of orange light your one vanity's ruler to just stop your opponent from playing the game and then, of course, triple Ben 10 to search for, you know, all the good cards. We have one Natasha, one copy of Draconis, your one Herald of Perfection, and your one Botto Buster. And we have two copies of Book of Eclipse, one Call by the Game, your triple copies of Cyber Emergency, one copy of Dawn of the Herald, and then we have the one Drytron Fafnir, triple copies of Nova, your one Foolish Bro, two Matanus Drytron, triple Pressure Operation Rights, and then we have two Talents with Triple Thrust, and then one copy of Unlocking. Then extra deck here, you have one Lingaribo, one Unicorn with one Nightmare Phoenix, one IP, with one copy of the Dynamondo, and then we have one Apollosa, one Axis Machine, two Mubetas, one Downer, one Zeus, one Beatrice, two Herald, and one Anintis. And then side deck here is one Lancia, triple Droll, triple Lava Golem, two Space Rock, one Feather Duster, your two Dimensional Bear, and triple copies of Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up the power of basically good fairy ritual deck. Um, like I said, don't underestimate actually seeing this card back in full swing here. Good stuff. Next list we actually have for you is a stun deck. Now, the first thing I want to say is I'm fairly impressed with seeing stun actually do something here. All, all jokes aside, though, the fact that this deck can still do its thing is pretty impressive. Now, before you're like, Robbie, where's the extra deck? The extra deck was just full of extra targets, according to them. They didn't even show it in the video, so I don't have much info for you on that. But if you're playing a deck like this, you definitely have an idea of what you're going to be playing and what you're going to be looking at in terms of utility aspect. So pretty big things to consider here. And yes, we are playing a Yada Garasu. Technically, if we can soft lock our opponent um, underneath Fossil Dino, 
and this card's paralyzing them, when we see the yada, this will prevent them from technically progressing their game state to draw an out, uh, which means that uh, you win the game. This is interesting. I, I never really thought about the aspect of this and that being a combo, but it does its job. So, of course, we have triple copies of Fossil Dino. We have two copies of Grand Manju. I don't know how I feel about Grand Manju without having Desires in the deck, though. Uh, you do have x to kind of supplement this, but I feel like that this is... I don't know, I feel like you get better value. We have triple copies of Inspector Border. Then we have one Yadagrasu. We have one copy of Kari Demise with one Dimensional Fissure. One Arby's Feather Duster with one Necro Valley. We have triple copies of Duality. Triple copies of Pot of Extravagance with one Terraforming. We have triple copies of Compulsory Evacuation Device with two Crackdowns. We have the one Macro Cosmo with triple Mirror Force. And then we have triple Solemn Judgment. Triple copies of Solemn Steve Reich. Your one Storming Mirror Force. Triple copies of There Can Only Be One. And one Wire Tap. Then, of course, Extra Deck is 15 Extra Dev Cards. Then we have triple copies of Cauldron of the Old Man, triple Prohibition, one Blazing Mirror Force, triple Dark Bribe, triple Dimensional Bear, and two copies of Non-Fusion Area here, wrapping up a perfectly well-crafted, very interesting take on the stun concept. Good stuff, I like this. Next up is Flounder. Now, once again, they also just flew through the extra deck down here. Uh, there's a couple things missing since they fanned it out, but they were like, extra deck doesn't really matter. So, once again, you have another deck where your generalized extra deck choices do not matter in the format, based on how everything else is kind of shifting around here. Um, some real big consideration. We're also playing the Harpist here, which is kind of nice. Um, basically, getting the chance to do some additional normal summons with this is going to be pretty good. So yeah, when this is normal summon, target one other wing beast monster and one phase of monster point of control to turn them to the hand. So, you know, you dedicate your core to this, go ahead and bounce this and something else, the opponent's hand. It is really, really good. And actually outs a lot of big issues that you might be running into. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have triple copies of Eagle with two copies of Impen. We have triple copies of Urbina. Now this is where you're going to see Snell actually seeing play here because this is a quick effect. Banish a card from your hand. Change all special monsters your opponent controls to face down defense position. So this will give you the chance to go ahead and blast um, some big boys down. We have one Stretch with one two Can Sam. One copy of the Harpist and one Rise of the Mega Monarch. And then we have triple Book of Eclipse. Triple Book of Moon with triple copies of Advent. We have triple copies of Magnificent Map with one unexplored wins. We have triple copies of Pot of Duality with one extra and then triple Pot of Prosperity. And then of course we have one Dreaming Town and triple copies of Rivalry. Extra deck here, what we do have is one Anima, one Assault, one Dehark, one Code Breaker, one Axis Machine, two Heralds, a Cupid Pitch, and a Borload Savage. Side deck here, we got Dimension Shifters, triple Space Rock, triple Cosmic, triple Dimensional Bear, and triple copies of the Harpy's Feather Storm here. Wrapping up your powerful, but yet not too crazy in the Flanderese department. And yeah, this fact that this deck still has MPEM and Snell to fight back against the current meta is pretty impressive. Next up here, we have Kashtira sporting off the Scareclaw package. I've been seeing this a lot more as of late. Just the fact that this deck, you, you're basically taking advantage of the Kashtira package to, you know, kind of supplement set of boards, but like the Scareclaw package just creates a, I would say a much stronger opening and a lot more pressure to put on the opponent. And that just puts you in a way better winning position out here. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring, two copies of Fenrir. We have one Rise Heart with two copies of Unicorn. We also have triple copies of Acro, triple copies of Ostra, two copies of Balone, two copies of the Scareclaw Kashtira. We have triple copies of Ryan Heart with one Vice's Starfrost, one Call by the Grim, two Crossouts, one Birth with one Theosis, two Ray Sloth with one Paralenia. We have two Rectophobia with one Rota, two copies of Arrival, one Terraforming, two Talents, two Thrust, and then we have triple Imperm and one copy of Twin Soul. Extra deck here we have the two Tri Heart, two copies of Light Heart, one Unicorn, one Dehark, one Cross Sheep, one Black Luster Soldier, one Asa, one Apple, your Mind Hacker, your Shangri La, your Rise Heart, your Zeus, and your Baron. Side deck here is two Divine Karates. Two Nibirus, two copies of Book of Eclipse, your one Change of Heart, two Dark Rulers, two Lightning Storm, your one Mind Control, your one Talents, and two Evenly Matched here. Wrapping up your chunk of, well, relatively interesting good stuff out here. So, what do you guys think about everything that you've seen today? Is there anything here that you actually want to test? Is there any ideas that are kind of sticking with you? Please leave a comment down below and tell me what you guys think. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on the day, guys. Peace. Pay 
patrons. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.